the first general contracting project for large-scale bridge projects in Central and Eastern European countries Zeman Borka, bridge project in Serbia. Serbia encountered United Nations sanctions from 1992 to 1995 and was hit by NATO airstrikes during the Kosovo War in 1999. Some infrastructure was severely hit. In recent years, Serbia's economy has experienced rapid growth. However, domestic infrastructure construction such as railways, highways, ports, and airports is lagging behind, with heavy reconstruction and construction tasks, and a strong demand for infrastructure upgrades. Due to the Eurozone debt crisis, Central and Eastern Europe has become less dependent on core Europe and has generally adopted an opening eastward policy to actively attract investment from countries outside the Eurozone. The relationship between China and Central and Eastern European countries has a long history and the going out strategy continues to deepen, making it possible for both parties to strengthen cooperation. In this video, let us learn more about it. The Serbian government hopes to end the nearly 70-year history of having only one bridge over the Danube River in Belgrade. It is proposed to build the Zeman Borka Bridge and Ancillary Connection Line project in the northwest of Belgrade City, referred to as the Zeman Borka Bridge. The project route is 21.26 kilometers long. The project is a two-way six-lane urban expressway with a design speed of 80 km per hour. It includes one large bridge, 10 small and medium-sized bridges, one interchange, 17 culverts and related ancillary facilities. After the completion of the bridge, it will only take 10 minutes to reach the main city from Borka. Moreover, all transit vehicles can bypass the suburbs of Belgrade through the bridge, thereby effectively separating transit traffic and urban traffic, reducing urban traffic pressure and relieving traffic congestion. Regional economic development in the northwest of Belgrade will also be greatly accelerated. Shortly after the project was announced, land prices in the Borka area along the project rose by 30%. After early communication and coordination, China Road and Bridge undertook the construction of the Zeman Borka Bridge project in Serbia. This project has many groundbreaking significances. It is the first bridge project across the Danube River built in Europe under the guidance of the Chinese government's going out policy and using the two quality loan from the Export Import Bank of China. It is the first project implemented after Serbia and the Chinese government reached an infrastructure cooperation agreement. It is a successful exploration and demonstration project under the China Central and Eastern European Cooperation Mechanism. The main beam of the Zeman Borka Bridge is a pre-stressed concrete continuous box girder structure. The main span span is 172 meters. Among bridges of the same type, the span length ranks second in China and ninth in the world, which poses certain technical difficulties. The owner requested the use of Serbian and European standards and norms. The construction specification system in Serbia is not complete and multiple standards are often used in a mixed manner. This puts great pressure on the design and construction management of China's roads and bridges. The project construction site is located in the Danube Nature Reserve. The environmental protection requirements for construction are very strict. If you are not careful, you will be punished by suspension of work. The owners in Serbia include three government departments as well as the beneficiaries and the Belgrade Municipal Government and Land Bureau as representatives of the beneficiaries. Communication and coordination are difficult. The project has not only attracted attention from the Serbian government and society, 
but also received widespread attention from neighboring countries and EU countries. The local media and people are paying close attention to the progress of the project, and many media and news community websites have conducted detailed tracking reports on the project. It can be said that there are countless pairs of eyes staring at China's roads and bridges, and every move will be judged by the outside world. The Chinese construction team needs to fully communicate with stakeholders. After scientific and strict project management, the Zeman Borka Bridge project is progressing smoothly. On January 22, 2014, the main span of the Zeman Borka Bridge was closed. Serbian President Nikolic went to the construction site to express congratulations and thanks to the builders. He excitedly said that he had experienced the construction of four bridges in his career and the Zeman Borka Bridge was the one that satisfied him the most. The Zeman Borka Bridge is a model of friendship between Serbia and China and cooperation between Europe and China. On July 12, 2014, with the successful pouring of the approach box girder, the Zeman Borka Bridge was fully connected. The construction of the main project lasted two years and was successfully completed 38 days ahead of schedule, laying a good foundation for the completion of the bridge. Since then, the Zeman Borka Bridge has entered the final sprint stage of bridge deck construction. On December 18, 2014, the Zeman Borka Bridge in Serbia was open to traffic 10 days ahead of schedule. Premier Li Kachang and Serbian Prime Minister Vucic attended the opening ceremony. Chinese engineering companies are still in their infancy in the Central and Eastern European market but are growing rapidly. It can be said that Chinese engineering companies have greater opportunities in the Central and Eastern European markets, but some challenges cannot be ignored. Combined with the Zeman Borka Bridge project in Serbia, we summarized how to enter the Central and Eastern European market and further develop sustainably. Create quality projects and establish corporate image. During project execution, China needs to continue to work hard to improve its standards while ensuring project safety, progress, quality and environmental protection and try our best to be in line with European standards, strive to create high-quality projects, and achieve good quality and affordable prices, that is, high-quality projects and fair prices. Only by showing excellent results in Europe can we occupy and take root in the European market for a long time. Integrate and utilize local resources. When doing projects in Europe, we must follow the European market operating rules. Local European companies have a large amount of material production and equipment processing capabilities in the country where the project is located. Failure to integrate local resources and rely solely on Chinese engineering companies to complete engineering projects will lead to increased social risks, cost control risks and legal risks. Risk control determines the success or failure of the project. Chinese engineering companies have deficiencies in their operating models and management control of the European market. In particular, they cannot accurately predict risks such as laws and regulations, material price fluctuations, and political system changes in the host countries. In order to avoid project risks, when developing projects and implementing projects in the European market, preliminary research work must be done solidly. From the early conceptual design, project quotation, business contract negotiation and subsequent project implementation, we must be aware of it, establish an effective risk control system and do a good job in risk pre-control to ensure the smooth implementation of the project and maximize project benefits. Integrate into the local market and implement localized management. 
with Europe serving as a learning model for the world engineering market, local elements are essential during project implementation. We should make full use of the good labor resources in the country where the project is located, hire excellent engineers or professional companies, and take advantage of their familiarity with the country's regulations, local market operations and project management. In the process of joint work, the management capabilities of Chinese engineering enterprises will be continuously improved through learning, and localized management will be fully integrated with European standards. Rely on the strong backing of the Chinese government and obey the leadership and coordination of the embassy and the economic and commercial councillor's office abroad. Due to the sensitivity of the European region, Chinese engineering companies conducting projects in Europe should communicate more closely with relevant Chinese government departments, embassies abroad, and economic and commercial councillors' offices, and strengthen reporting. Focus on the overall situation, obey coordination, and provide timely feedback to the government on emergencies and difficulties encountered during the development process. Under the guidance of the Chinese government, embassies abroad, and the Economic and Commercial Counselor's Office, we will proceed in an orderly manner and make steady progress. With the successful completion of the Zeman Borka Bridge, Chinese engineering companies are flourishing in all directions. In November 2013, China National Machinery Engineering Corporation undertook the construction of Serbia's first new coal-fired power station with a contract value of 716 million US dollars. Shandong High Speed Group started construction of the E763 highway project in Serbia in June 2014. The total mileage of the project is 50.2 kilometers and the contract value is 334 million US dollars. On June 18, 2016, China Road and Bridge Corporation signed a business contract for the Serzan Abrenovac section of the E763 highway. The One Belt, One Road initiative has brought new historical development opportunities for Chinese engineering companies to go global and the international engineering contracting market has a vast space. During the implementation of the Going Global strategy, we have continuously summarized and gained unique experience, providing valuable suggestions for Chinese engineering companies to better go global. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.